Hello YouTubers, it's Champion DJK coming at you yet again with another weekly update video and I got a few things to show you. Um, didn't really haul it in this week again. Um, didn't get a whole lot of stuff but I do have some interesting things and uh, it was a pretty decent week. So uh, I guess starting off actually yesterday or today, today, wow, today I got this in the mail, it is Saturday. This is from Cool 51 Designs. Uh, you can see him on Instagram at Cool 51 Designs. Um, anyway, he had a Instagram post where he had just a bunch of real riders in a bowl, and uh, you had to guess how many were in there. And um, I think the contest went for two days before somebody got it. Anyway, I got it right on the head um, at 276. That's how many were in there. Um, so he sent me this custom. This was the prize. Uh, we're going to go ahead. We'll take a closer look at it in the second half of the video per usual. Um, sticking with that format. Um, let's see here. I got a... Let's go with this next. I got a box from HWC Chad. There's his Instagram. Um, he approached me with a piece uh, that was definitely on my wish list. And I was able to bang out a trade with him quickly. And he shipped it to me. And here it is. This thing is pretty sweet. This is the Japanese convention um, super van. Uh, we'll, I'm not going to crack this one. But we'll take a closer look at it uh, under the higher definition camera in a moment. But uh, this thing is really sweet. Thank you so much. Uh, it's numbered uh, 107 out of 2,000. So he worked with me on a trade for this and came to me with it first. And I really appreciate that because he knows I love vans. And uh, that was just kind of out of the blue and a, a really kind of kind gesture. So he also sent a couple of extras along, just some trucks, steak bed truck. And uh, this Kenworth sent that along. Maybe do a custom out of this one. We'll see. So there's that. Um... I got a, I did a trade with a local buddy for a second one of these. His name is Jeremy. Shout out to you, buddy. Um, he is just on Instagram now, is Jeremy Bolter. He just started, so he'll start posting some stuff. Uh, but anyway, he's a cool dude, and uh, he hunts in my area. So he's my main competition, actually. But we finally got to talk and meet, and it's pretty cool. It's nice to make friends with your local collectors, because you end up finding out typically that you like different things and um, usually it just so happens that it kind of works out that they can find stuff for you and you find stuff for them and it just kind of like you're all hitting the stores and it it's, ends up being a good situation. Uh, so that's pretty neat. Uh, he likes them too. I like, I like Auto World. Uh, speaking of Auto World, I did an order from the Auto World store. Uh, last weekend they had a sale going on where everything was just free shipping on any size order. And then I also had a coupon code from Instagram for 10% uh, off. So I just ordered a couple cars because I'm like, free shipping. They didn't have much that I was missing. I didn't have this in my collection, so I picked up this uh, Hennessy Camaro. I've got it in the other color, uh, but I never got it in this orange color, so I picked up that one. Um, and then I picked up this Dodge Daytona which is sweet. I got this one in its alternate color. I have the other one in duplicate. I've got a packaged um, one and a loose one. I think I'm probably going to crack this one to join my others. And we're going to take a close look at this because this is actually an Ertl casting and uh, that's going to be a part of this video uh, the second half. So got that. Um, got this guy, GMC Motorhome. I kind of collect this casting. Uh, I dig it. This one is 8,029 out of 9,282. I've already got it um, carded. And I got this one. I put a low ball bid on it on eBay and I ended up winning. And uh, we're going to go ahead and just crack it. Man, the paint on this thing is just gorgeous. I'm going to put fingerprints all over it. But we'll take a real close look at that in the second half of the video. Um, that is pretty cool. I uh, was able to find a couple of Matchbox. Oh, speaking of the Jeremy guy, he was at Toys R Us this morning, and he beat me to the Matchbox, so he got the majority of it. But I was able to get this one, uh, this Land Rover 90. It's pretty cool. And uh, go ahead and crack that. There's that guy. So I picked that one up. And the only other one that was worthy of picking up that he left behind was one of these vans for me. 
So this is neat. This is a new uh, new casting, I believe, for Matchbox. It's the 95 Custom Chevy Van. And I guess this one's supposed to look like kind of like an ambulance vehicle or a fire rescue vehicle or something in red. But it's kind of neat. It's got the spot for like a spare tire and stuff in the back. Um, it's metal. It's a metal body, which is nice. It's plastic base. Um, I don't think it has an interior because the uh, windows are blacked out. So there's that guy. Uh, pretty cool matchbox, though. Uh, definitely an interesting casting. So we'll take a closer look at that, too. Um, so I got that. I get another eBay purchase. Um, this is another thing where I just threw a lowball bid on these, and I ended up winning them from the same seller as a pair. And a uh, really good deal on them. So there's that. Firebird. This one I already have loose. So this one will be staying in the package. And then this one, this black one, I've got another one carded, but now i got this one carded. Um, one thing about these, though, definitely was in a smoker's house and was stored in a smoker's house for some period of time. And I know that smell because I am a former smoker. Um, but I haven't, sm I haven't smoked regularly in a long, 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 long time. So quit smoking if you guys smoke. Anyway, sorry about the PSA, but uh, yeah, anyway, it makes your stuff stink. And this stuff smells like it's been in a smoker's house. So this one's definitely getting opened up. This one i got to keep carded because I already got one open. So there's that. Uh, let's see here. One last eBay purchase is this thing. Now this looks trashed. Uh, it's trash packaging. Again, I got it on the cheap. Um, so yeah, I basically hunted eBay last week, and that's how I got most of this stuff. Uh, this is an Ertl American Muscle class of 1969 and if you watch my videos you know I've featured a couple of Ertl castings uh, on my videos we're gonna open this one up and take a look at all three of these castings there is a Dodge Daytona in there uh, which is the exact same casting as the racing champions mint one and but it's an Ertl and then uh, we've got a Mustang in there and a Cougar so we're gonna take a close look at all three of those vehicles um, my buddy, Crazy Todd, <clears throat> another local guy, um, who is on Instagram as Crazy Todd, at Crazy Todd's Diecast. You should give him a follow. Um, he's a really nice guy, um, just a great dude all around, and we hunt for each other. He finds stuff for me constantly. He gets on, like, uh, Facebook Live sales and stuff, and it picks up stuff every once in a while just to fill the box. And, uh, he got this for me. So this Volkswagen Microbus. So that's pretty cool. And then he just picked up from a store for me because he was out of town hunting uh, this Monza. So this is pretty cool. I really want this in the blue color. Um, but this one is pretty neat. Might open that one up. And then this one we're definitely going to open up because he picked me up two of these, four GTs. And I really do dig this casting. Um, I've got a few of them now. <clears throat> Johnny Lightning. Go ahead and open that up. Pretty sweet. I definitely want to get all four of the variations of this. Um, out of the Street Freak series of this series, this is the one, the only one I'm really going to get. Um, but it's pretty cool. So we'll take a close look at that. Second half of the video, and that's going to be it for this. So yeah, it comes with a little collector card. So that's about it. Yeah, oh, and I also found the Fast and the Furious series at my Walmart. I had one of the best Walmart experiences I've ever had. Um, a guy named Austin, never going to watch this, but a guy named Austin basically ripped through pallets looking for the cases of Fast and Furious for me because he scanned, or he knew that we knew that they were there. Um, and C just looked all over the place for him. He was going to give up, and he's like, I got one more place to check, and he found him for me, and I was like, that was great. So I was able to pick up a couple sets for myself and uh, a couple sets for a couple of buddies. And uh, so that was really nice of him. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, the Scalper's favorite, the uh, Fast and Furious series, which there's been a lot of drama on Instagram about. So go check that out. That's interesting. All right, so that's all I'm going to say about that. Let's take a close look at some stuff. All right, let's start with this uh, 70s van or super van that I got from HWC Chad on Instagram. And... This was definitely kind of a grail piece for me as far as super vans go. Um, wasn't really sure if I ever would end up getting this one. They're limited to 2,000, so that's that's a low production for a Hot Wheel, for sure. 
um, in a Japanese convention at that. Usually these things are very, very expensive to purchase, at least expensive for me to purchase. And uh, very glad to add this to, to the collection. Be cool to get another one and open one of these suckers up, but definitely not doing it right now. You know, I'm partially a loose collector and partially a carded collector, and I fight with that decision all of the time. So that's normal. If uh, any of you feather collectors uh, can relate to that, yes, fight with whether or not to open stuff. A lot of people just keep everything packaged. A lot of people keep everything loose. I kind of do a mix, so really no logical reason as to what I keep carded and what I don't. Uh, but here's this, of course, unless I have two. Uh, so then one's carded and one's not, best of both worlds. Uh, anyway, moving on, we got this little microbus. I did decide to just open this little guy up. Kind of an interesting little VW uh, van casting, so I'll throw that with my other VW van. Just wanted to show that quick. Um, and then here's that custom from Cool 51 Designs. Uh, it's pretty neat. It's a lowered uh, Datsun 620 um, with decals all over it. Kind of an interesting uh, yellow color. Looks pretty nice. It's got screws in the in the bottom, so it's all buttoned down. Um, it does roll, and it's pretty much slammed to the ground as much as it can be. Uh, but there's that Dawson truck. Just cool to win something and so, such a random thing. So that's that's pretty neat. Uh, then we got this Ford GT. Take a close look at that. And this is a pretty sweet casting. I really like this casting. I didn't bring out any others to look at because I think we just looked at a couple of these a couple weeks ago. Uh, but just a really cool casting. There's one of these that's like black with black rims that looks really awesome. I'm definitely going to have to get that one. Uh, but here's this one for now. This is the only one out of that recent release that I have. Uh, pretty neat. Then here we got this beautiful GMC motorhome with this excellent Spectra Flame paint job on it. The paint job on this thing is just great. It's amazing, actually. It's mirror finishing parts, the blue. It just it's done so well. Um, I really like it. A lot of people don't like these Neo Classics wheels. Uh, I actually love them. I think they look great on a casting. Uh, all the castings that have Neo Classics wheels seem to have some suspension to them, and they roll really nice. Um, not like not that you need a premium piece to really roll very very nice, but this thing would probably book down a track to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, pretty neat. Really really like it. Really like the paint job on it, the color scheme of it, and I've got two of them. So that was a decision to of course cut you know cut one loose. So there's that. Uh, then we got uh, Matchbox, this Chevy van. Just really an interesting casting. This is supposed to be like a light bar up here, but it's black. It's blacked out. The windshield is blacked out, so I gotta think there's no interior in there. Of course, you wouldn't know for sure unless I guess you took it apart, but I mean, why else would they completely black out the windshield? Um, so there's that. Got an interesting back piece to it. Uh, just kind of an interesting casting. It'll be, it'll be interesting to see um, what colors and stuff they come up with this, you know, in future releases. So that'll be interesting. So this is there, and then this is the uh, Land Rover. Showing that real quick. It's pretty neat. Um, I believe this is actually a pretty older casting, or at least maybe not Land Rover ninety. It looks like the old. Um, the older one and I think I have an old like super fast one or something somewhere but anyway here's that Land Rover looks pretty nice and then we got these Firebirds so here's the black one that I cut that Auto World packaging open you got to open your Auto World at least some of it to just feel how substantial these pieces are um, they're just beautifully done they're heavy you know I love Auto World I say it all the time um, of course, this one's got an opening hood that opens nicely, detailed uh, engine bay, and shuts nicely, and just looks excellent. So there's the black one that we just opened. Here's the red one I already had open. And you know I love this casting. It's a Firebird, and it's Auto World, so it's ultra fire to me. So very, very awesome. And then speaking of other really cool stuff, that Ertl 3-pack, I opened it, and I'm going to tell you, it did not disappoint. These castings 
and here's just two of them, we'll get to the Daytona in a minute, are awesome. They're really, really nice. And Ertl is an interesting, whatever, these releases, these American muscle releases of Ertl are very cool. They're, they're different. Um, one different attribute of them is they all pretty much feature an opening trunk. They have an opening boot and an opening bonnet. So they all have opening hoods, opening trunks, no opening doors. They all are very, very detailed. They all have metal bodies, they all have rubber tires, and they all have plastic bases. Um, you know, and somebody would be like, well, it's not metal on metal, it's not very premium, but, I mean, look at the detail on this base. And these are actually little plastic pieces, and I've mentioned this before in previous videos, but um, you can't see any screws or rivets on the bottom here because there's plastic pieces covering them up. Um, it's a little suspension, you got you know, tailpipes and stuff, you got transmission, all sorts of stuff you can see under the underside of the engine, the fuel tank, um, just really cool uh, the way that these are done. Um, so I really think it's neat that some of these castings are being reused now in the Racing Champions line. Uh, so the recent Racing Champions line had a couple of them, one being the Dodge Daytona, another being the Pontiac GTO uh, in the first release of Racing Champions. I'm not sure if there's any in the second release, but I hope they use more castings from Earl because they're just excellent. They're, they're very, very nice. They got detailed interiors too. Um, it actually does have a brown uh, steering wheel. On a black dashboard. I don't know. It just, they look really awesome. I think this is great. This is going to be great to take pictures of this Mustang. Um, really, really neat. And then here's the uh, Cougar. This, again, looks very, very nice. Has an opening hood with a ton of detail in the engine bay. It has an opening trunk with a little bit of detail in there. Um, this one, the uh, tail lights are actually not painted on. They are a separate piece. They're a, they're a insert, which is really cool. Um, of course, headlights. This car had the headlights were kind of hidden behind the grill there. Um, but there's your base, super detailed, very very cool. The wheels are very nice. Um, it's got this side view mirror thing that I just realized it had, which looks huge. I wonder if that's accurate, but. Um, that's kind of interesting, uh, but very, very cool. So again, just really nice quality. If you see these cheap, uh, pick them up. A lot of times they are listed on eBay in individual cars, and a lot of times they are about, you know, 15 bucks each. You can get them for maybe almost 20 sometimes. So they don't go real cheap, but I got this three pack for less than, I think it was less than 15 bucks shipped. So for three of these cars, so I thought that was a steal of a deal. Um, so there's that one. And then finally, the reason why I picked up that three-pack, well, honestly, I probably would have bought it anyway, but this is the car I really wanted was this uh, Dodge Daytona. Um, and it's just, it, this, is, this thing is awesome. Um, again, we got the detailed base. Um, we've got an opening trunk. Okay. We've got an opening hood. And I didn't open this one yet. Opening hood with a bunch of detail. Looks really nice. Um, detail all around. It's got a detailed interior. Rubber tires. Looks very awesome. Here is the other Ertl one I already have in my collection. So this is another Ertl release of this casting. Again, very, very nice. The only thing that this one's missing, I think, is the chrome trim. As far as detail goes. Other than that, it's pretty much identically detailed. There's your base. And then we've got the two Racing Champions releases. There is, I think this is release A, and I think this is release B, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but either way, still got the detailed base, except they didn't do anything with the painting of the separate parts like they did on these Ertl ones. Um, still get chrome trim. Um, still, everything else is pretty much the same on these as the Ertl casting, except for, I think also the engine bay. Yeah, the engine bay in here is just black and orange, and the engine bays in these is black and orange and also has that chrome bit that's pretty cool too. So this one's got, these Ertls have a little bit more detail than the Racing Champions releases of these, but still, all of them are great. So that's a really cool little, for some of uh, Dodge Daytonas. There are a couple more colors of this 
in the Earl releases that I do not have and I definitely will go for and uh, kind of actively pursue them on eBay when I find them at a good price. And now that I think of it, as well as any other Earl casting I find that's from this era. And I think this is from 2001-ish, somewhere in there. And pr I should probably do a little more research, but... Uh, so far, all the castings I got from that are just fantastic. So I definitely recommend looking for those. Or please don't look for them. Leave them for me because um, I will buy them. Um, and that's going to be pretty much it for this video, guys. Uh, another weekly update video. And uh, again, I appreciate everybody that tunes in. Um, also, I want to apologize. I haven't really been uh, responding to too many comments. I do read them all. Um, I just haven't. I used to respond to every single comment on my channel. And... Uh, I've just kind of gotten away from that because it's a lot of saying, you know, thanks, dude, thanks, this, thanks, you know, and it's, it's all right. I answer questions when they come across, but uh, I've just been kind of sucking at uh, answering comments, but, you know, maybe I'll get better at that. But please do comment. I do read them. And uh, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. All that great stuff. And uh, you guys have an excellent week.